Hello all, welcome to my channel Tech Research and today we are going to see everything about Overleaf. I am going to cover the entire features, all features related to Overleaf in today's video. In this video, we can see like how to add images, tables, how to change the font size and how you can make the text particularly bold, how you can incorporate the feature of chat, how you can share the project, add equation and everything, whatever you need while you are working for your th research thesis, conference or template. So let's see practically how you can do the same and achieve all these features in this video. I hope this video will clear all your doubts related to Overleaf and you can easily work with Overleaf template from hereafter. So let's see practical demonstration of the same how we can do it. So in the beginning we need a template so let us download an IEEE conference template. So you have to write in Google IEEE conference template overleaf and just press enter. The first link you can see there are two three options. Open as template view source download PDF. We will just open as template. This will take us to our Overleaf account and you can see the template has been added. When I will go an up step above, you can see these are my different projects where I am working. So let us see, let us try to add everything and modify this template into our beautiful research paper what we are aiming for. First of all, let us change the name of this template for example research paper so the first step you must always do is to change the name of your file once you do it let us add the title you just have to click on a right side of the window so it will take you appropriately to the place where you have to change your title yes so here you can write research paper for natural language processing like for example and let us compile this you can use it command s as i have mac operating system so you can see we have added the title to our paper which is our first tip let's write some introduction how we can change the font size and make our text bold for this document so to change the font size if you want to make the particular sentence bold you just have to write text bf and you, within curly brackets you have to give the text that you want to make as a bold just for example i'm using this text let us compile to see the effects now as you can see our text has been converted into bold so this is the command which is used to make the text particular aiming test as a bold the next point comes in our list is to add an image to add an image you have to click on upload you have to uh, select from your computer just click open and our image has been added with the name imp.image when you click you can see the image now you have to call this image into our main latex file so for that you have to write the command that is slash begin figure once you just enter the figure everything has been added and here you have to in include graphics you have to specify the name of the figure that you want to write the name of our figure is imp.png once you write the few letters overleaf automatically pops up with the name of the figure when we will say we have called the figure in introduction part let's compile it and see the changes now our image is too large to fit um, as we cannot see the image has been added so you just have to write this command you have to um, uh, write the line width so that image will be added and fitted into that paper size yes now you can see the image has been added so you can write this command to add image according to the size so this is related to image the next part that we are going to see is how to add the tables 
so to add the tables so to add the tables let us create some tables from table generator let us add two three rows for your better understanding let's add some names here like i am adding the names of classifier so this is my table which i want to add in overly so you just so you have to select give the borders to it delete the extra columns by right clicking selecting and just delete the column remove columns right now you can see we have the proper table we want to make the heading as a bold just click on bold we want the center alignment for rest of the table click on center alignment button and now click on generate once you click on generate the table method for the overleaf has been generated you have to copy this entire equation into your table where you want to call so we have copy pasted and let's see what we give, give what we get after recompiling it so you can see that our table has been added here on the page in the right hand side right so if you want to keep where it has been added you have to call hbt exclamatory mark and let's recompile it yes now the table has been fixed to a particular position so in this way you can easily generate the tables using table generator and add the table in overleaf template the next point i want to show you is how to share the project so here you have to write the name of your colleague or supervisor with whom you want to collaborate this project and you have to write the email id and there are two options can edit and read only you if you want to have an edit permission to the collaborator just click on can edit and share once you share it the person with the mail id will receive an link and using that link the other collaborator can easily change modify the project or the paper so this is related chat this is another unique feature once we say we can add the track uh, we can say the important message here in chat that i have hello i have some made some modifications in the intro part so this chat can be reviewed by everyone who is having the paper link now let's see the next point in our list which is very important is how to add the equation many a times we need to add very complex equations in our overleaf template for example i want to add this equation to my overleaf template so to add this there is a simple tool which is called mathpix snipping tool you have to download the mathpix snipping tool open the mathpix mathpix snipping tool I have provided the complete description downloading and installing of mathpix snipping tool in my video in my another video you can refer that for more reference so once you click on mathpix snipping tool just click on select button and click on the equation that you want to copy for example I want to copy this equation you can see the equation has been copied and the overleaf equation for the same has been generated so you have to click on this copied button and you let's go to our overleaf template and paste it here let's recompile it right super so now you can see that we are able to add the equation in our overleaf template so this is so simple right yeah so we are able to add equation also in our overleaf template the important thing we can even make a uh, we can easily check our spelling in grammar mistakes using grammarly you have to download the extension grammarly click on extensions and when you say like grammarly for chrome just access it and once you download it it has been active and now you can easily check your spelling mistakes and your grammar using grammarly in overleaf the next important point that i want to cover in this video is how you can make different sections in your overleaf like you can see we have different sections here like introduction sometimes we have research methods we have uh, discussions we have acknowledgement so how we can add different sections over here and call those different sections in our overleaf template 
So for example, so you have to create a new latex file, which is called as intro. For example, if we want to create, we want to call a separate file for introduction, just create intro as a latex file and uh, let's move our intro components into that file. Let us, for example, take this figure, take this section. Okay. Control X and here let us paste right so now you can see we have copied the contents from our main latex file to intro file now have to call this intro file you have to go to main latex file and call the command input is the command that you have to use and call intro.txt when we will recompile now you can see we have able to call back our figure and our table in the main file so in this way you can create different sections for introduction for discussion feature is amazing when you are working parallelly with many people so you can distribute the work and there will be no overlapping between the sections and the changes can be easily tracked so i would suggest everyone to create different sections and just call it with the input command in your main latex file so you will create different latex file here for each of the section and then call it with the input command in the main latex file the last thing that i want to show you is how to add reference let us add some references in uh, our latex file so you can see there is a re reference bibliography file in this we have to add the references in this format I'll just show you how you can do it. Let's, uh, for example, let's go to Google Scholar. Suppose I want to cite this paper in my article. So you have to click on the second option that is Bibtex and just copy the Bibtex file which is available for the overleaf, for the latex or overleaf template. Once you copy that, let us go back to our overleaf project and here you have to place the references remember the first name of the references so it can be used it can be changed you can change it as reference one let's do it for example and let's go to the main paper where you want to cite the paper uh, let us cite this in discussion and you have to call the command slide cite and here you have to use the name that we have been using for calling the references so in this way you can add the references in your overleaf template one more thing friends i have created an overleaf series specific to each feature in overleaf so if you are referring to any particular point you can refer to my overleaf series for detailed explanation of each feature how it works in overleaf i hope i'm able to clear all the explanation regarding overleaf and you can easily work on your thesis or conference presentation or book chapter using Overleaf. Thanks for watching. Before leaving, please subscribe to my channel Tech Research for updated notifications. See you in next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.